So this week we are going to do a update tour of our sailboat, of the refit of our sailboat. So if you are new here, we bought this sailboat that was abandoned for 22 years. It's not abandoned anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and we are refitting this for the last four months. Yeah, basically we always shoot episodes once a week showing the progress of the refit. But of course we cannot shoot today and post the video tomorrow. So there is always a delay in between videos. So the intention of this video is to give you a update tour. So you know exactly how the boat looks right now. Meanwhile, we are going to answer some questions that people asked in last week. So basically it's going to be a Q&A with a tour. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And for the past year, we have been building our own tiny shipping container house. So we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home. But guess what? We just found our dream project before we expected. This abandoned sailboat. So we are going to stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life. And then we're going to go back and finish the house. A lot of people ask it about the design of the boat. This is a boat designed by Meta uh, Boatyard in France by Gilbert and Nivelle. Yeah, <laughs> basically this is a 13 and a half meters boat. That means 44 feet and, feet and a half or 44 and something. And with a four meters beam, the draft is 1.1 meter when you have the swing keel up and 2.7 meters when you have the swing keel down. Center board. Center board, yeah. There's no ballast on the board. It's just a center board. And it was built actually in Brazil. So the, Brazilian, yeah, the Brazilian shipyard called Dinieper bought the design from Meta, Meta <laughs> and built in Brazil in 1991. That's the year of the boat. Let's show you the update of the deck. So what's the news on the deck? We are preparing the boat to apply the non-skid. Check it out. So all the marks for the non-skids are in place. All the nice round corners and all the way And the there. plastics. Yeah, that's because it's going to rain today. So we need to cover. Otherwise, the rain is going to take the tape off. Yeah. And we need to wait until Tuesday when the weather is going to be better to apply the non-skid. But this is pretty much ready to apply the non-skid. That's, yeah. that's exciting. It took a while. It's been like maybe a week and a half just <laughs> marking these corners and drawing all these shapes. Look, check it out. All the corners and round shapes. Looks really, really good. Time to go inside? Time to go inside. Oh, by the way, this week we closed this yesterday. So this is the engine hatch that used to be open because we painted this hatch. So now we have all sealed already back in place. So let's go inside. Yeah. So let's show you the brand new interior of our boat. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's so not, we are done yet inside. Yeah, we still have a lot to do. <laughs> so let's try to be more quick, direct. Yeah. Let's talk about what we had, we still have to do in order to finish the interior of the boat. First thing first, diesel tank. Is there any news about the diesel tank? Yeah. We f <laughs> no, we didn't finish. Nah. But there is a really, really good news. What's the news? It seems that we found a sand blaster, mobile sand blaster. Yeah, the guy that uh, painted our hatches has a portable sand blasting machine that he is not using for years, but he has most of the components necessary to put the machine back together. And he was, uh, how do I say, like... With pity of us. Yeah, pity. He had pity <laughs> when we were so sad that we could not send the diesel tank that he's like, we can put this machine together and I can rent you for a cheap price so you can use for as long as you want and then you can do the job yourself. Yeah. That's going to be great. We're going to have a sand blasting machine that we can bring inside of the boat. Yeah. Uh, we, it's going to be a lot of work, of course. We need to cover everything in plastic and it's going to be a wet sand blasting. That means that it's going to be air, water, in garnet that is the microsphere but i think that's going to be a really 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 good solution i think this is the best solution for yeah it. it's not 100 percent guaranteed that we are going to do that but 99 percent yeah. sure that by next week we're going to start doing that and that's going to be great next project the engine yeah someone is still asking what is the engine we have we have a mwm 58 horsepower three cylinders engine that is supposedly here still for the past five years the former owner said he turned on the engine five years ago we are not sure if it's five if it's three if it's ten nobody knows nobody knows but we tried to turn on the engine last week and that's gonna be a we're gonna talk about that next week on the next episode 
but we're not sure if it works or not. We're not going to tell you now, but mm -hmm. if you're curious to know if the engine still works and what did we do to the engine, you can come back and watch next week because we're going to have an episode all about the engine. Yeah, so stay tuned. I think it's good news. Babe, no spoilers. <laughs> so what else do we need to do inside of the boat? A lot of things. <laughs> now, Way now too our, many things. Now our job starts. <laughs> yeah. We need to exchange all the hose and valves of the boat. This is just a sample. These are just two of the valves, three of the valves, no two. Two of the valves and some of the hose. But there are ton more hose yeah. to exchange. All the hose. That's a lot of work, but sometimes we need to do what we need to do, right? I'm actually excited to start working for real because until now we hire a lot of people to do things, but no. this is something that we are gonna do by ourselves and I'm excited to yeah. do this. But what else do we need to exchange? Toilets. Let's show you. As you can tell, we do have a toilet, but as you can tell, it's in a really, really bad shape. Not that doesn't work, but you touch and it breaks. Yeah. The thing is, plastic won't last for too long, and every time you touch something that's really, really old and it's plastic, it breaks. So these toilets are just breaking really easy. You touch, you sit on them and bre something breaks and then something else breaks and then something else breaks. So we decided to change, exchange both toilets. Yeah, we bought already one for this bathroom, for this head, and it's an electrical one. So we still need to do the electrical part for this one. Yeah, and the other bath, uh, the other head, we're going to have a manual one. So basically we're going to have a manual one as a guarantee that it won't break. And we have another one that is the electrical one for people that come on the boat and don't really never have never used the let the manual one and it's just easier and we have one of each uh, what we else soon have to install all the port lights and hatches yeah port lights and hatches this is a really 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 big project that we've been working on that for probably 3 months already yeah <laughs> so we didn't talk about that for the past i don't know 3 months but Every week we do something related to the port lights and to the hatches and that's gonna be a huge one, a huge accomplishment once we finish. But today we're gonna give you the first sneak peek of our new hatches. We are really excited with them. Yeah, the truth is the hatches were not bad, but as soon as we start touching, we start like finding little oxidations and we need to exchange the acrylic and this and that and we're like, so let's do a proper job and we did a whole entire refit of the hatches and they look literally brand new. Yeah. But in order to show you that, let's we need to go us. to another yeah. marina. We need right. to go for a walk because it's just five minutes away from here walking because the guys that are working on the hatches are not here. Yeah, maybe, maybe they are still there. Yeah, I mean like <laughs> the hatches are done. They're just sitting there and waiting for the paint to properly cure for a little longer. And then we need to still install the acrylic, to glue the acrylic to the hatches, and then we can install them back in place. That's probably going to start in a week or two from now, we start installing in place, right? Yeah, we still need to wait for them to polish. Polish the side of the boat, yeah. It's, we are going to start installing in two weeks, I guess. Yeah. One last thing inside of the boat, the electric. Yeah. We still need to install the electric pumps. And we still need to install the battery charger and the inverter. And the navigation light. And the navigation light. All the electronics, that's going to be for the future. We're not going to install no. on this part of the refit. No, we don't have them. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, we can talk about that in the future. It's just too much things for once. As you can tell, the kitchen is a mess. <laughs> I think the, the last thing we need to do is with the gas. We need to install all the hose bags. We need to buy new valves. We need to buy the bottle gas. The bottle. The gas bottle. Yeah. Propane <laughs> bottle. We need to try to turn on the oven and the stove. Yeah, we might need some maintenance here or if, to see if the fire is good, if there is like any, how you call it, like. We need to fix the. Yeah, we need to give proper maintenance to the stove, but that's just finishing touches. We're gonna do that once we go back to the water because right now we don't really need the stove in the oven we are eating on the restaurant here it's all good and it's cheap the food is really cheap and good so <laughs> why fix right now so let's go for, for a walk yeah, yeah. Come on. walk it is so what else do we need to do here on the deck talk about the gas <laughs> oh the gas the yeah. gas bottle is gonna be here and we still need to install the dodge in place 
all the metal hardware. Correct? Yeah, so the Genoa track is here, the winch is here, another winch there, another winch there, another winch here. Of, of course, the mast, but that's another story. Mast is good. It's a huge decision. We talked about that already. If we, we, are, we are thinking on exchanging the mast to a new one, and actually, it might come true. We, next week, we're going to decide if we're going to buy a new mast and try to sell the old one. It's probably going to be that the decision, right? Yeah. Yeah, we are working on that. Hopefully, we're going to have a brand new mast, and that's going to be awesome. Yeah. So let's walk to the hatches place. Yeah. So instead of a five minutes walk, boring one, we're going to answer some questions on the way, also. So why did we choose orange for the color of the boat? The truth is, I wanted red first. But yeah. she didn't want red. Don't she like she red. don't like red. <laughs> so orange is a substitute for red. And actually, one, yeah, I'm gonna. It sounds weird, but we own a few pelican cases, it's just like a equipment cases. And the equipment case is orange. It looks so beautiful. The orange on the case. It's true. And we just like the case, so we decided to paint the boat the same color as the case. <laughs> it's real. It's true. And now I'm in love with the color. <laughs> yeah, the color is awesome. I mean, like, it's just not like every boat that's white. So why did we apply clear coat on the hull? The clear coat actually is because that the orange color it's really easy to fade down, to fade out. Because with the sun, the UV protection is not as good on some colors. And they say that orange is going to be really light really soon if we don't have the clear coat. So basically the clear coat is just for UV protection and for protection of the paint itself so it's just for lasting longer which color is gonna be the bottom part of the boat the bottom paint is gonna be black so it's gonna be black orange and white <laughs> i actually want a green stripe in between the white and the orange but she didn't allow it yet maybe in the future there's always time to <laughs> change that a carrot boat <laughs> yeah carrot <laughs> it would be really cool i mean like orange boats different but an orange boat with a green strip is even better it, it, you would never miss your boat, you know, that's my boat. Orange, you won't, you won't miss it all. <laughs> yeah, maybe one day. I'll, if you guys agree with me, just write down and I'm going to convince her because I'm going to say 200 people comment saying that it should have the green stripe, so it's that's good. A lot of thousand, hundred doesn't want this. <laughs> well. So. Where do you plan to do your first long passage? I mean, I'm not sure if it's a long passage, but <laughs> for us that we don't have that much experience, 207 nautical miles, it's a really long passage. Okay. We're going to go to our hometown, hopefully in two or three months from now, I guess. Where are we now? We are in Sao Paulo, Brazil. We are from Florianópolis, south of Brazil. So basically, we were lucky to find a good boat that we like in s somewhere that is not that far from where we live. It's Guarujá, it's not Sao Paulo oh, yeah, yeah. capital, it's Sao Paulo... Uh, yeah, Sao Paulo coast. state. Yeah, we are in Sao Paulo state in a city called Guarujá on the coast, next to Santos. So if you, we are Brazilians, why we speak English? That's a good question. We <laughs> speak English because we want to travel in the future. And if we like to travel, we like to meet people from different countries. And if we have a channel in English, we meet people from way more different countries. And we open up much more doors to visit people, to... Oh, I don't know, it's just... English is an universal language? Yeah. That's why? It's like an international language that we know that if we speak in English, a lot of people from all different places are going to watch. If we speak in Portuguese and if we just have English subtitles, people from other countries won't watch because they're not used to read English subtitles. But Brazilians, as we watch a lot of American movies and European movies, we are used to read subtitles. So that's why we have English. Where are you leaving now? Inside the boat? No, actually not yet. Really soon. Right now we are lucky that her sister has an apartment on the same town we are working on the boat so she let us live for these few months on her house it's around 15 minutes by car from the marina yeah. so it's pretty good so we were really really lucky to find the perfect boat on the perfect place yeah it's true so we are arriving at the marina so here is the other marina here pretty much i think you guys know where we are already our welder is here the same blasting machine is here the, the turner is here the, but i guess no one's here we are late <laughs> No, they're here. No, they're not. That's not good. As they're not here, I can show you a picture of our hatches. 
I took one yesterday. She's so. smart. <laughs> I, yeah, can, I can give you a sneak peek. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> let's be honest. We were supposed to shoot this video today in the morning, but we had visitors and we, you know, I speak too much and the visitors came to stay a little while. And, and they, they spent like four hours no, at four. lunch with us. Not yeah, it was. They arrived hours? here almost 10 in the morning and they went home at 2 p.m. Yeah, so basically <laughs> today's Saturday and they only work on the morning. We don't have the hatches, the hatches so we came for a walk for free because we didn't even see the hatches. It's but a good walking. <laughs> yeah, but the hatches, oh, really good. seriously, they look brand new, 100% brand new. It's really, really good. It's a really good job. They do a really good job. So when do you think you are going to put the boat in the water? The boat in the water. Uh, uh -huh. I don't know. That's tricky a question. tricky question. Yeah. <laughs> the truth is, the boat could go to the water in like a week or two weeks from now if we want it. But we would need to stay on the water here for longer to finish some jobs. Yeah. And the marina where we are, it's better for them if we stay on the dry than on the water because they have much more availability of space on the on the land on the dry. So that means that once we go to the water, we don't have much time to stay here. We need to live in like a week because they always run out of spots on the water because it's just uh, they have less space on the water. So and we are actually still waiting for the document to be done. Yeah. With the new name of the boat. New name. Yeah. But, yeah. but basically <laughs> just answering the first question, we maybe go to the water in like a month, like two months from now, I guess. Yeah. And the name of the boat, that's another question. Are we going to change the name of the boat or not? Yes, we are going to change it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much we ask it for a name, but we are only going to know if the name is available once the document is ready. So, so which name are we? At first we thought we were going to call Odd Life, but then we realized that it's just too long to call Odd Life. And when you call on the radio, we believe a short name is much easier to say. So we are going to call just Odd. Odd? Yeah. So Odd. it's Omega Delta Delta, just that. <laughs> yeah, so Omega Delta Delta is really easy to remember and it's a, we think it's a really cool word that just means like a lot of different yeah. things at one word. We can use this word to do a lot of jokes around. Yeah, <laughs> you, you can say that someone odd is someone weird, you can say that someone odd is someone different or someone special or odd, yeah. it's just there's a lot of meaning on one word and that's really cool. So are we gonna go back to finish the container house? That's an interesting question. <laughs> we will finish the shipping container house. We don't really know when though. I mean like, we think we need a break after finishing the boat. We've been working on refitting and building things for over two years now. Yeah. And at some point we need like three months of break to relax and enjoy life a little bit. Not that we are not enjoying, we are enjoying. But we didn't decide about the house yet if we go full time on the house once again. the boat is done again or if we take slow the house, so like we go for a few months of sailing and then we come back, work two months on the house and go for a few months of sailing and then we are not sure about that. Let us know what you think. What's your thought about that? Talk about sailing. Do you have sailing experience? That's our third boat. We had a 19 feet, then a 26 feet. And when I was younger, my dad used to own a 35 feet. But we don't have much experience. Uh, uh, open, like uh, open, open seas. seas? Yeah, we don't have much like uh, crossing experience. So that's one of the reasons why we don't want to leave for traveling far away right now. We want to start doing like bigger and bigger crossing, like yeah. 200, like 300 new nautical miles, 500. And the Brazilian coast is really big. So we want to grow in steps and get more experience on the ocean. I think we need to- They're having fun on the marine. <laughs> oh, to tell. Are we planning to sail to the United States? We plan to sail everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the long term, oh, yes, we do. But what we don't want is to have a like uh, commitment to go anywhere. The plan is to get, gain miles here in Brazil and then head north to go to the Caribbean and spend a season in the Caribbean and from there we go to wherever we feel like we wanted to go. We might go to French Polynesia, we might go to the States, we might go to Europe. I don't know. Uh, life changes a lot during the time and we don't know what, if what we want today is what we will want in two years from now. So let's take one step each time, like baby steps. Yeah, 
we are willing to go with the flow. We yeah. If you feel like to go there, we go there. And yeah, I mean, like, enjoy the moment. In, we are right now enjoying the refit. Once we've done with the refit, we are going to enjoy some cruising in Brazil. And then when you're done cruising in Brazil for a while, we go to the Caribbean. And from there, who knows? Are you planning to go to Australia one day? Yeah, I mean, like, someone asked... Uh, we are, by the way, just reading some questions here. <laughs> yeah. So someone asked, what's the dream destination? How about Australia? No, Australia, of course, yeah. <laughs> well, I have a promise. Yeah. yeah. One of our friends that used to live with us in the beginning in Australia, he's from Brazil, I promised him that one day we are going to offer him a dinner on the cockpit on... Hushcutters Bay. Bay in Sydney. <laughs> yeah. We are going to have dinner in Hushcutters Bay in Sydney on the cockpit. I mean, just give him, like, goosebumps. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's a huge dream. But other than that, the dream, dream destination, which one it is? French Polynesia? No. Bali. Bali. Yeah. This all started in Sydney, but also in Bali, Indonesia. Yeah. So if one day we get to Indonesia, that would be like... Yeah, Indonesia is just... We, we have good, good moments in Indonesia, so... Yeah, out of our 13 years together, four months was, were in Indonesia. Yeah. Two times of two months. Yeah. And uh, both trips were just amazing. Like, just Bali, the people are so nice, the yeah. food is so nice. Everything's so cheap, that's really good because you can eat as much as you want. You and can the, go to... The people we met there were yeah. really good. The so really nice Balinese people. people, they're just amazing. They're always happy and friendly. They're and just, even uh, people that are not from there, that were there just on vacations, they were really yeah. nice. Seems like a place that everyone is happy. Yeah. And so that's, really I think, good. is a place for us. A place where everyone is happy is just a happy place. Next, next question. Next question. What, were the, what was the hardest job so far and the easy one? The hard, hardest job so far, for sure, was last week, the ah, diesel tank. Yeah, for sure. Not for sure. If you count the shipping container house, maybe the bathtub was really tough too. But this one was. Yeah, but worse. I think, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think the diesel tank was the worst one. Yeah. How about the and easiest this one? one? I have never thought about that, but I think the funnest one was the one, the one that we have more fun we doing. We had more fun, yeah. Yeah. Was the the cleaning of the boat to find old stuff that were there for 20 years i think that was really that was fun. a relaxing episode we're just yeah. having fun and just discovering the boat that we dreamed for years and we just bought so that's of course it would be fun you know you dream <laughs> with bu of buying a boat for years and then you buy this boat that has so much old stuff and you just spend like an, an entire day just discovering little things around the boat that it's impossible not to have fun are we gonna do a breakdown costs of the refit Break it down cost, of course, you're gonna do that, but once we finish the refit, otherwise, we don't know the cost yet. I mean, we know the cost so far, but we wanted to shoot a proper cost video in the future. Yeah, <laughs> so is the boat costing more or less than you imagine? Um, we had tricky uh, question, cri, 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 cri. <laughs> we had a kind of idea what we were gonna do, and uh, I mean. Just give me one sec, I need to put this down. So, is it that kind of, cost more or less? We kind of had one idea of the cost of the boat. It was actually among the prices we were planning. No, we did more than we planned to do. Yeah. So, that That's means that we spent more. But on what we planned to do, the cost was really yeah. close to what we thought. But as, you know, you start falling in love with the boat, you want to fix better and better and better, so you start doing more things than you planned before. And actually here in the marina, we are we are stable here, so we are doing more things here than we we were gonna do in the beginning, so... Yeah, the thing is we plan in the beginning to do just the basics here and then move to our hometown, back to our hometown, but here it's really, really comfortable to do the jobs and we have all the resources we need and... I don't know, it's just a really good place to work. I think even better than where we live. So we decide to do more here than leave this stuff to do there. Is Duca waiting to get a haircut when the boat's finally done? That's a tricky question too. I, I, we told you guys not to ask tricky questions, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you notice, but if you go back in time on the episodes that we shoot for the past two years, I cut my hair usually once every two years, one and a half to two years. It's just because I'm lazy to cut the hair every month. And if you have really short hair, you need to cut every month. And that's too much for me. But 
it's getting hot again and summer is getting here. So I think it's time for a haircut, right? Yeah. So, so no, we're not gonna wait. We're gonna cut right now. Yeah. It's always intense to cut my hair. Yeah. If you didn't watch, there is another episode where my hair was like this long last year and she cut that. That was a dramatic one. Yeah. I almost cried, seriously. When I watch, I still almost cry because that was intense, hard decision to make. But no, it's short. Coming yeah. again. But I'm afraid of cutting. No. <laughs> Let's see if the camera is in a good angle. Crying already? No, no. It's just on the back. By the way, we always dream to have a boat so we can cut my hair always on the deck of the boat and just get some salt water and just clean all and then just jump on the water and I'm done. So we couldn't wait to the boat being on the water so we decided to cut on the dry. But it's the first time, it's cool already, yeah, exciting, exciting times. In the future it's always gonna be here and just jump on the water and it's clean, no shower needed. So good. <laughs> the worst can happen, I need to shave my hair. He always says that, then I get nervous <laughs> and I try my best. We need to fix a few spots later on the mirror, but for now, at least it's shorter. Yeah, so we have some extra questions. Sorry, babe. I'm not sure if I did a good job. So good. It's gonna grow again. <laughs> she always cut, she's been cutting my hair for the past 10 years or so, or maybe more. So tell us the story about how you met. Huh, talk about that. <laughs> whoa, that's a lot of, whoa. <laughs> I don't want to see how my hair looks right now, but it's not good. So how did, how did we meet? Did you meet? We had a friend in common and one day we decided to go to the beat and then we meet and then... The rest is history, 13 years ago. <laughs> I don't know how she can handle me for 13 years, but I must be a nice guy, right? Yeah. So, da -da -da. how tall are you two? I'm one meter and fifty. Seven. I'm 175. Yeah. You're short. <laughs> so good. How old are you? I'm 35. I'm 36. Kids in the future. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Kids in the boat must be really, really fun for yeah. them and for everyone. I mean, kids, they bring light to everything. Yeah. We like kids a lot. Where can I find t shirts to buy? <laughs> well, every single video of ours, there is an odd life store on the link on the description, and you have mugs and t-shirts and bags. sweatshirts and bags i'm gonna add just some more products there in the future yeah Maybe just some it. how you call like fun stuff i mean like we we like the t-shirt i mean like we need to buy new ones actually because <laughs> ours are just really old from working. guys if you want to share a picture of you using our t-shirts because we have just yes. two pictures two pictures of people using our stuff so we can share with others yeah maybe. if you have a t-shirt just take a picture and send us to oddlifecrafting at gmail.com and we can share on the end of a video that would yes. be really cool <laughs> oh someone asked it also i saw there uh delay how long behind we are on the videos like some channels are seven months behind on the videos we, no we wish we were a little bit more behind but Today is uh, October 19, so the day you, watch it, you are watching this? It's probably like a week and something ahead. The reason why is because we are going to be out of town for maybe four days because we have a wedding of Joan one of is, our patrons. Yeah, yes. Joan is getting married. Yeah, you know Joan. Joan has been like in two episodes. Joan is getting married, so we need to drive to our hometown to go to his wedding. So that's why even though we are like a week ahead behind, it's 
uh, up to date because we're not going to do much this week. We have like two days this week to work, so we needed some days off. Yeah. On the shipping container, we used to be just one week behind always. We work for one week and we post one week, work one week and post the next week. Right now, we are working on multiple projects at the same time. And once so we finish one project, we just release the, this project that we finished that week. So it's yeah, always like, up to date. Yeah, like the red hatches, we are working on the hatches for three months. But once we finish in one week, we post the hatches. Yeah. Um, are you guys still working besides the boat? If, if not, how do you pay your bills? Donations only or just other source? It would have been possible to have another job doing what you're doing right now. We literally work seven days a week on Odd Life. Odd Life is just our main project, our fun, and also our work. Yeah. So today we make money of watching videos. People watch in uh, AdSense. So every time we watch a video and there is an ad, we make a few bucks of these ads. So thanks so, so, so much join, for joining us and watching the videos. And supporting us just by watching is a huge, huge help because this makes possible for us to keep going and keep refitting our boat and following our dreams. Yeah. But also there are our patrons. Yeah. Patrons are just, I don't know, it's just hard to express how much we are thankful. Are just nice people that really enjoy what they watch and want to support us to keep going and to keep just living our dream and being able to keep shooting and filming everything. and. The whole, you know, you, I don't need to talk more about Patreon, you know what Patreon is, but we want to thank all our Patreons, they are just awesome support, and people that donate to PayPal also help us a lot. So pretty much we live out of PayPal, Patreon, AdSense. So we live producing videos and refitting our boat for now, right? For now. Yep. Hopefully in the future we're going to travel, hopefully. Other than that, yeah, Other that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. And we can... Welcome on board our new patrons for this week. Talk about patrons. <laughs> That's, we, some people say that we take too long thanking patrons on the end of our videos. Guys, I'm sorry. We need to thank our patrons because they support us. They are the ones that make this happen. Also, of course, who watches, but they are willing to support us every single month. So they deserve to be thanked. Thank? I don't know how to say that in English, but... <laughs> It's just the you way. You're rambling, babe. Yeah, like always. <laughs> we kind of talked too much that the memory card on the GoPro just it's cold. <laughs> so now we need to talk to the phone because we just don't have memory card anymore. But last thing, we need to thank and welcome on board our new patrons, our new su su supporters for this week. So welcome on board, Bill, Francisco, Cody, Gernot, N Nigel, Lion. Mark, Jeff, Kudok, Max, and we also want to thank the donations to our PayPal. So thanks a lot, Jonas, Thomas, and Robert Duncan. It's Robert cool. Duncan. That's a really cool name, yeah. It's just our names together, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much. Really, 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 we are really thankful for that. We really appreciate the support, and that means that we can keep refitting our boat, and we can keep living our dreams, and we keep share with you guys so that's pretty cool <laughs> yeah i guess i'm just rambling as usual because i just like to ramble but so, I, I can see my hair now so i, I like, like it? it actually <laughs> not bad yeah thanks yeah i think that's it for today right yeah. i think this video must be really really long because we just complete a memory card so yeah. that means really long so we we'll see you guys next monday see you guys next monday <laughs>